Okay, we're off. 15 minute, 10 second game. Let's tap this pawn, okay. And let's swing this through here. I tried that one in versus the, what is it, 1100 or whatever, just as a knockabout, and it actually worked. But uh, obviously, you'd have to use it sparingly because the eval bar was going up and down, up and down. There were loads of weaknesses with that sort of attack. But the queen's still coming to uh, defend that area. So I'm going to castle, keep that nice and simple. Attacking the knight. Let's open up the white square bishop. Let's attack the bishop. Let's take the bishop off the board. And let's get the knight involved. See what the bishop really wants to do. Okay, so <clears throat> scores on the doors, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. And dark square bishop, I mean, all my pawns are on dark squares in the center here. Would it be good to utilize this as my bad bishop and for a good knight? So it's going to bounce around and start attacking around my king's side. So I think I'm taking the knight off the board. Yep. And I think I'm going to push onto this pawn here. Mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> push this. Opening up space to attack their king. Just going to be castling because they don't want the queen putting a check on. Not that it's a major thing because it can block it. Yeah. Right, undecided now because it's got three pieces in front of the king. I think this will be where they would actually take, probably with the knight. Takes, bishop takes. to open up space in front of the king how does he get there and then the queen comes across here yeah I'm going to do a hopefully an out to come back in thing Okay, so we distracted them for a moment, so I'm going to just bring the knight across, try to keep my king with some sort of company. 
bishop's down attacking so let's just attack so he's going for the pawn here going for a greedy munch with the bishop just bring the queen back so out to come back in like we said On paper, the bishop is trapped. So we might get a minor piece up. Because it doesn't have anywhere to go. It can take a piece, but it's going to get taken. It can take a piece there, it's going to get taken. Comes down here, it gets taken. Comes down there, it gets taken. So are they looking at doing some sort of attack on a key piece of ours? to win some sort of tempo, the rooks are on the back, the knight not really got much play so it's going to have to do a sacrifice of some sort, well not sacrifice, just going to have to yeah, okay so we could go for a queen exchange now, now that we're in that we'll see if he's interested he's probably thinking no, not interested because I'm a minor piece down now. So he's got two linked pawns in the centre here. Well, when this one takes. That's quite powerful in its own right. Oh, he's not actually done that. They've not done that. Could attack the pawn, so hitting it twice, then if he pushes, queen can take. Does his knight have a whirlwind of some sort on my king? Nope. Doesn't have to be this knight, could be the knight that's on the rim, couldn't it? Oh, this pawn's coming to defend. Let's go here, then the knight can jump here, attacking the queen. Let's see if he doesn't drop this pawn first. King's moved. Uh, da, 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 da. Continue with the knight move. Also attacking the pawn as well. So it's not clear just because I'm a minor piece up so doesn't mean I'm winning anything. I have to try and find the right positions. He's got constant mini attacks but he has to move the queen. So I'm moving the queen back defending the pawn. The knight's stuck there forever and a day. Well, it's not stuck there. It's got a nice, safe outpost. We could challenge the pawn. He does have a whirlwind, so he can come and attack our queen. Okay, yes, yeah, so he's gone back protecting the pawn. Could attack the pawn like we said, the knight does have a whirlwind and we can take his queen off the board if he goes fancy, let's do that.
Then I start more pawns than us because they they still we're only plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five. Okay, so two pawns for a minor piece, so that could be their psychology. Because there is that school of thought as well, isn't there? You know, getting rid of a bishop for two pawns or a knight for two pawns. Hitting my knight. What's that all about? Could hide in the corner here with the knight. A little outpost. Or could just take the pawn off the board. I think really you've got to keep it simple. But if we take the knight off the board, it takes our knight. So we have to move the knight. Could bring the knight here. Again, looking maybe to attack the queen. He's got a passer. He's got two pass. Well, this is a proper pass one. Hmm. So if we go there, the queen can just come and attack it again. Could bring a rook to attack this port, this knight, but it brings another piece around, and then his knight can jump down and get it with a fork. Queen takes, rook takes with a guy. Tempting. Let's do it anyway. He's going to want to keep the diagonal because he wants to keep the knight, so he's probably sitting just here attacking the knight. Yep. Then this pawn is going to be harassing the knight. Just going to get around, attack their knight. Rook comes to defend the knight. It's a whole, whole big defending thing now in the centre. You can see it building up. Exact move. Rook across. The champion champion in these pawns though are they? Got a two on one here as well. So I think this pawn's pushing down. Maybe we can afford to let it push down. I think it will push. If we take, it doesn't have to take, but say they do take. Takes, so we've got the knight, then they take. So they would have got the minor piece back then, wouldn't they? Which is it? Oh dear, the rooks are in. They've just lost tempo then. We take the knight. See, he's not interested. Then he pushes the pawn. So we've already we've got another knight. Then we move the knight out of the way. When he pushes, then we take the queen. Yeah, okay. I think we just lost the tempo there. I'm hoping I'm right. <laughs> So 
all in the file the other rooks are going to be on Ooh, hold on yeah one of them has to move no they've not moved they've not moved so we've got a fork One small error of movement. Okay, let's just keep focused. And they've resigned. Um, I don't think there was anything that needed checking on this one, was there? I don't remember if there was any concerns at all. Let's have a quick flip through. I thought it was evenly spread. I mean, they went for being down a minor piece for two pawns, so they obviously must have been doing something, right? We're attacking the knights, then we take the knight off the board. So we do the out to come back in thing because at this point in time, just wanted to see what they were going to do towards our king area. Hopefully, they were going to overextend that type of situation. Because bringing the bringing the queen here, I'm not actually attacking anything. There's nothing clear at all in any way shape but we did explain that in the game how to come back in so the pawn pushes down so now we're moving the knight so give space now giving our king some company still wanting to see what it is that they're wanting to attack and they're in so we put pressure onto the bishop the bishop does capture but then it's in a little bit of a precarious position because it doesn't really have anywhere to go so this was where we were up the minor piece so it was through some stealth of movement on our part where we gained the extra minor piece so quite pleased at that so we're looking for the exchange but then they're powering through with the pawns and gauge bar seems to be on our side just seeing if there's any dips no attacking the queen just happy with that and again this could have gone a little bit strange but um, in these sort of positions as well you know the last sort of positions it's easy to forget that your piece is under attack when you're doing your other calculations and so I think that was a minor achievement of mine to actually remember to move the knight out of the way after doing the calculations and just attacking the queen it's not frowning on that either bringing it back and attacking the knight now Yes, so at this this point here, I mean it's still showing minus six thing, but uh, da, 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 what's that saying? Knight C two. Yeah, so moving the knight out of the way, taking. I was looking for the exchange. I wonder what it would say if it did do that. Yeah, I was just looking to get the exchange. It's still minus. Yes, so that's good. But they didn't, didn't do that, so again, I think that really lost them the key tempo. But they do have these pawns that they have to manage, but they haven't moved the rooks, and we've got a magic fork going on there with the knight. And after that, it's kind of plain sailing. Yeah, another good game.